Welcome to this joint presentation of the Wisconsin Resource Center for Charter Schools and the Wisconsin Association of School Boards. I am Barry Forbes, WASB Associate Executive Director and Staff Counsel. This session is part one of a nine-part series of programs designed for school board charter school authorizers. Session one, what is a charter school? Let's begin with a definition. What is a charter school? Charter schools are public, non-sectarian schools created through a business-like contract or charter between the Charter Governance Board and the sponsoring school board or other chartering authority. The Wisconsin Charter School Law gives charter schools freedom from most state rules and regulations in exchange for greater accountability for results. The charter defines the mission and methods of the charter school. It is an agreement between the charter school and the authorizer regarding how the charter school will operate. The chartering authority holds the school accountable to its charter. As the charter school authorizer, you are responsible for holding the charter school accountable for what is agreed to in the charter school contract. The charter school motto is uh, autonomy for accountability. This definition is from the charter school webpage of the Department of Public Instruction website. You can find it at the hyperlink on your screen. Wisconsin law gives charter schools significant flexibility in the form of exemptions from many but not all of the laws governing public schools found in chapters 115 to 121 of the Wisconsin statute. The following is a list of laws that charter schools may not be exempted from. First, charter schools are subject to the requirements of section 11840, which is the statute that allows for the creation of charter schools. That statute makes clear that any person seeking to teach in a charter school is subject to the license requirements of the Department of Public Instruction. You can see those license requirements in the link statutes on your screen. Charter schools are also required to administer standardized pupil assessments, including the civics assessment as a high school graduation requirement. See section 11830 and 11833, which are also linked on your screen. Charter schools must adopt pupil academic standards in mathematics, science, reading and writing, geography and history. School boards must also adopt academic standards and as a school board charter school authorizer, you might require the charter school to use those same standards. School boards are required to adopt policies for the promotion of pupils from fourth to fifth grade, from eighth to ninth grade, and for high school graduation. Charter schools authorized by a school board must follow and enforce those same policies. Charter schools are included in the authorizer's Chartered School District Annual School Performance Report, DPI School Accountability Reports, and the statewide student information system. Charter schools must use the Section 115.415 Educator Effectiveness Evaluation System or an alternative process like that offered by CESA 6 in accordance with the DPI rules for evaluation of teachers and administrators. Charter schools must ass assess pupil enrolled in 4K through second grade for reading readiness as required by Section 118.016. Charter schools must provide parents of enrolled pupils with a list of the educational options available to children who reside in the pupil's district or residence as required by section 118.57. Charter schools are subject to seclusion and restraint conditions for use in training and reporting requirements under section 118.305 
non-resident pupils may attend charter schools under Wisconsin's full-time and part-time open enrollment programs. And char the charter school contract may make the charter school subject to other statutory requirements in chapter 115 to 121. The charter school contract is a very powerful and important document that is central to the relationship between the authorizer and the charter school. The charter school is a separate legal entity. It is not a department or division of the school district. The charter school governance board must be a legally incorporated entity capable of entering into a contract with the authorizing school board. School board authorizers and charter schools must determine if the charter school is an instrumentality of the school district or is not an instrumentality of the school district. Employees of instrumentality charter schools are employees of the school district, while non-instrumentality charter school employees are not. An authorizer school board may not employ any personnel for a non-instrumentality charter school. Most charter schools in Wisconsin are authorized by the school district, by school districts, but state law gives the city of Milwaukee, Waukesha County, and certain Wisconsin colleges, universities, and technical colleges authority to authorize charter school. Note that the focus of this and the subsequent WASB training sessions is on school board authorizer responsibilities and duties. This concludes session one, what is a charter school?